the President of the United States and to Mrs. Reagan.
time when our countries are enjoying improving economic conditions for whom are stable and that this avenue for progress and well-being is not allowed. In the past century, many names immigrated here to look for the American dream. With their hard work and good citizenship, they not only made that dream real, they helped build a great nation and will have not just four decades of peace, but century of peace. More stable peace, which is what we want most. Next, we have already reached out and caused a safer world on numerous occasions, and we have continued to do so, as well as a lowering of the level of conventional forces. We look forward has been wrong between East and West, but a beginning point for better relations, a starting point for progress. Prime Minister, I'm certain you agree with me that the Democratic government, I hope that during the time you spend in the United States, you will feel to our welcome to you, the warmth and friends that takes place every year in Denver. In the fields of radio, thousands of Danes and Americans celebrate together has reflected something between our two peoples that is very special. And we shall never forget it. Thank you to us, men, on behalf of all of our citizens. Welcome to America. <laughs> Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, I wish to thank you, Mr. President, for your very kind words of welcome. Relations between Denmark and the United States of America have always been close and friendly. When Denmark, as early as in 1801, established diplomatic relations with the United States, we were among the very first countries to do so. Over the years, the dynamic creativity of the new nation Tempted, as you mentioned, thousands of Danes looking for challenges and opportunities. The contribution by Danish immigrants to the building of America has been one of the pillars of Danish American relations. The American engagement in Europe in half of the 20th century. The presence of American troops in Europe is visible proof of the U.S. commitment to the Thank you. 
Good to see you last. Can you open the door, please? Mr. President, uh, they're saying that Gorbachev is getting the better of you these days. You know I don't take questions in Yeah, but what about that interview in Time Magazine? Did you think that he hit one out of the ballpark? Um, I'm not going to comment. I only know what I read in the papers. <laughs> Do you think that he's winning the so-called PR campaign? About your protectionism, sir, do you think you're going to be able to resist the protectionist fever in Congress? We're asking questions, and uh, <laughs> we're here to have our pictures in. Lights, please. Thanks, GRI. Okay. okay. Thank you. 